Good everyone, you're watching Radio Fixes. In this video, I'm going to talk about how to fix if your Windows restarts automatically after the shutdown. If your Windows PC restarts automatically after you shut it down, the issue is commonly linked to power settings, device management, or system configuration. So here are a couple of steps which you could try to get this issue resolved. Now the first step is to go ahead and disable fast startup. Now the fast startup is a feature that can cause Windows restart instead of shutting down. To disable it, you will have to open control panel. So in the search window, you may go ahead and type control panel. You will see the best match for the control panel. Now once you're on the control panel, you will have to go ahead and change the view by from category to a large or a small icons. Once you are on this view, you will have to go ahead and locate for power option. Click on power option and choose what the power buttons do on the left hand side. Now on the right hand side, you will see an option for shutdown settings. It says turn on fast startup. In case if these options are grayed out, you will have to choose the option which says change settings that currently unavailable and then you should be able to turn on or turn off the fast startup. So in this case, what you will have to do is you will have to go ahead and disable fast startup. So in case is this box is being unchecked, you can leave it as is. In case if it is checked, you will have to uncheck the box, click on save changes. Close this window and then check if your issue has been resolved. In case if your issue has been resolved, well and good, you don't need to try the next step. Now the next step is to go ahead and prevent device from waking the computer. So here the network adapters or the other devices may be set to wake the computer causing it to restart after the shutdown. Now to do this, you will have to go ahead and change the settings under the device manager. To do this, you will have to do a right click on the start button and then click on device manager. Once you're on the device manager, you will have to go ahead and locate for network adapters. So expand network adapter. Now once you're on the network adapter, you will have to go ahead and locate for network adapter properties. So in my case, it is Qualcomm. So I do a right click and then click on properties. Under properties, you will have to go to power management. Click on the power management. Uncheck allow this device to wake the computer. If it is checked, make sure it has been unchecked. Click on OK. Close this window. Restart your computer and then check if your issue has been resolved. In case if your issue has been resolved, well and good, you don't need to try the next step. Now the next step you could go ahead and try is to go ahead and disable automatic restart on system failure. Now this settings can cause your PC to restart automatically if it encounters system error. To do, try this step, what you will have to do is you will have to go to the search window and then in the search window, you will have to go ahead and type advanced system settings. You will see the best match for the advanced system setting. Click on it. Once you're on the system properties window, under the advanced tab, you will have to go ahead and locate for startup and recovery and then click on settings. Once you have startup and recovery here, you will have to make sure to uncheck the box which says automatically restart. Click on OK. Close this window, restart your computer and then check if your issue has been resolved. In case if your issue has been resolved, well and good, you don't need to try the next step. Now, in spite of trying all this step and if you're still facing a problem, the next step is to go ahead and modify the registry settings. The first step to modify the registry settings is with uh, to disable the fast boot via registry. To do this, you will have to do a right click on the start button and then click on run. In the run window, you may go ahead and type reg edit. In case if you get a user access control prompt, you may click on yes or continue on the screen. In case if your registry key is in expanded state, go ahead and collapse those registry key so that it is in this order. And before you make any changes, I would strongly advise you to follow the steps correctly. In case if you make incorrect changes, there are chances that your computer may not function properly. So please follow the steps correctly. Now, once you have the registry key open, you will have to go ahead and locate for HK local machine, expand HK local machine, and then locate for system, expand system. Under system, you will have to locate for current control set expand current control set and then expand and locate for control expand control under control you will have to go ahead and locate for session manager it would be in alphabetical order 
under session manager you will have to expand session manager and locate for the key which says power now once you are on the registry key you will have to go ahead and locate for the key which says hyper boot enable and here you will have to make sure the value is being set to zero in case if the value is being set to one you will have to make sure the value is being set to zero in my case there is a key and the value has been set to zero in case if you see the value has been one all you have to do is you will have to do a right click and then click on modify and change the value from one to zero and then click on ok once this is done the next thing is you will have to go and enable the power down after shutdown to do this you will have to go and collapse the registry key and then navigate to the registry key under hk local machine expand hk local machine and then expand software expand software and then expand microsoft expand microsoft and then locate for windows nt it would be in alphabetical order once you locate windows nt expand current version and locate for current version and select current version and then expand current version under current version you will have to go ahead and locate for win logon again this would be in alphabetical order once you have selected win logon check if there is a key for power down after shutdown so there is a key power down after shutdown all you have to do is you will have to change the value from right click by doing a right click and then click on modify change the value from 0 to 1 in case if you don't find the registry key you will have to go ahead and create a registry key by doing a right click new dvert 32 bit value and name that key as power down shutdown and change the value to one once this is done you may close the registry editor close the registry restart your computer and then check if your issue has been resolved now all this step should definitely fix the problem in spite of trying all this step if you're still facing a problem, I would suggest you to leave me a comment in the comment section so that I can come up with the possible solution. I hope this video was useful. In case if you like this video, please make sure to hit the like button and do not forget to subscribe to my channel. Thank you. Have a great day.